Hello everybody and welcome back to Estancia Lapacho. As you know, we're going to be finishing off this series and what we do need to do before the end is make sure that all the fields are harvested. Now I think we do have to still fertilise some of these fields. I think, yeah, field 24 and field number 1 and 2. Uh, or field number 12 as it almost looks like. Well, kind of. If the one was, yeah, about an inch this way. But still, uh, it needs to be fertilised. So if we just go on to here, we should be able to see exactly... Oh, actually, look at that. Must have already done it. In that case, it's going to be a big harvesting episode. And as we are coming to the end of this series, we might be able to use a different common harvester, because this one isn't very big. So, I'll just jump into it. We'll uh, take a look at the different combines available to us. Um, we've actually got quite a bit of money now, so we might be able to get something a bit bigger. I don't have any mods installed, which is a bit unfortunate. Um... I might actually just leave the game again and download something like a John Deere because that would be quite nice to use. Okay, so I've just decided to go for one off Mod Hub. It is an S670, John Deere S670. It is fairly expensive, but obviously we're going to be selling the first one. This one will be leased just for today and, well, any money we have left over, the money from the harvest, will be uh, transferred to the next map. Today might be the final episode, I'm not too sure. I was going to go until a round number, uh, so something like 30, but if there is nothing else to do, then, well, obviously we'll have to move on. I think, um, and I will try and say this fairly confidently, uh, the next map is going to be, the next map for the replacement of Estancia Lapacho, not for Oakfield Farm, uh, will be an American map, fairly big map, um, failing that, it will still be a big map. It might not necessarily be in the USA, um, but yes, it will be somewhere we can use some fairly big equipment. Did I have a header trailer? I'm not too sure. But yeah, um, yeah, this is not the end, that's for sure. It's not the end of um, the money which we make. The money we make will be definitely transferred to another series. Now, I have actually... Um, gone off the idea quite a bit about running two Let's Plays side by side uh, just because they take up so much time especially the realistic series. I mean most of the time is pretty much going to be creating bales for feeding and although I do enjoy doing that it means that most of the episodes turn into creating bales as well. So I'm not entirely sure but I think at this stage, I'll probably do a vote actually but I think at this stage the next two Let's Plays, the replacement of this one and the replacement of Oakford Farm, are going to be just standard, not realistic. Well, I say not realistic, not seasons. It's still going to be um, as realistic as you can be in the base game. But yes, we will come back to seasons because there is no arguing. It is an absolutely <laughs> immense mod. It is just fantastic. It really does transform the game uh, dramatically. But I suppose if you're not into the realistic stuff, then... Yeah, you, you'd probably want to go without, but I think most people really do enjoy having the seasons. Right, let's get this dropped off, we'll get it sold, we'll uh, try and make some money out of it, and we'll get the uh, John Deere leased, so that we can go and harvest for number 1, 2 and 24. It won't be today we do it, and when I say today I mean the next couple of minutes, in game day, simply because the field isn't ready. But it will be ready very soon. Right. So 47511, and let's just see for the header, 22676. Not bad, and we have some seed here as well. So I don't know exactly how much it's going to cost. Obviously we have an hourly fee as well, but it shouldn't be too expensive. You can have wheels or crawler track. Yeah, I think we'll sit with wheels. Uh, it just adds extra expense. So header, goes to the end of here. It is a 10.7 meter header. Oh, yeah, lease it. And do we get a header trailer? If we don't, we can just use a standard one, but I think you might be able to get one. Let's just see. Yes, you do. £640. Okay, so there it is, the S670. Nice looking combine harvester. I don't use John Deere combine harvesters very often, so it is a nice change. It might be a bit loud. If I put the master volume to 20%, it should be better. Much quieter in the cab. 
But yeah, we've got a lot of harvesting to do today. I would imagine that this will be the end of the series, but I can't say for sure. I'm also not saying that we're not going to be returning. In fact, we are going to be returning to this map, definitely. Uh, I know that for a fact because it's going to be redone uh, for FS19 in the new graphics engine. So we'll definitely be doing another series. But it might possibly be the final episode for FS17 series. FS17 is a Santi Lepancho. I didn't really put that on there very straight, did I? That could have been much better. Right, up to the field. I was actually going to cut across the uh, sugarcane field just here, but it's actually started to regrow as it is now morning. Yes, it took us an entire night to get from the shop to here. Uh, so <laughs> if we go round, then we'll be able to go across... Well, it's actually the airfield. Oh, and actually, I did download an, a plane, a fertilising plane, um, to very quickly fertilise the crops with. And, well, let's just say it was a good mod, but it had some serious frame rate problems. It might have been me, um, but it was only that mod that was doing it. So, yeah, you could uh, certainly fertilise a field very quickly from above, but you'd have to contend with some absolutely ridiculous frame rates. So, um, I'm not going to say which mod it is, because it might not even apply to everybody. It might have just been me. But, yeah, I have tried it out, so if anybody does suggest it, then I won't be able to do it, unfortunately. But I did think it would fit in really well with this map, because we do have the airstrip just here, well, kind of. Um, so we could have taken off from here. And had it not caused such a frame rate problem, we would have gone with it, we would have kept it. But still, yeah, that's uh, in the past now. So half the food is ready, half the food isn't, interestingly, it's probably because I've rushed it. But we'll start at the far side and get things uh, underway. I'll have to make sure I put the combine harvest header out of the way as well, otherwise it's going to be completely in the way of the worker. We're also going to have to set up a tractor and trailer setup wherever that's going to be at this stage I'm not too sure and there we go let's get it hitched on yeah I really do hope the sound is alright I've actually just done a sound check and it did seem to be alright although it's a bit on the loud side because I actually use uh, fraps with the integrated sound recording so it creates the video and audio as one file which probably seems like a fairly unprofessional way of doing it because then you can't balance the two but it just seems so easy it just seems so easy to do it that way anyway yes um, get it unfolded put the wheel up a bit there we go it's a big combine Oh, we have to, oh no, wait, we have to unfold the header too. We're going to chop it as well. Let's just make sure it is doing. No, there we go. Right, so the combine is rolling. Hopefully the rest of the field becomes ripe uh, before we actually get to that section. Um, although it is quite a long way away, obviously this combine is very wide, so it's going to munch up this field in no time. So let's get on a worker, and we'll go over to... A different machine. Ooh, the train. Back to here. So we're going to have to use probably this tractor. Seems the most suitable. And did I buy that Joskin trailer? I'm pretty sure I did. Going to have to check now. Um, gone trailers. Yes, I did. Where was it put? I see. Ah, oh, yes, I remember. I was going to do that field first. So if I can retrieve that, then we can obviously do this field first. I think it's probably best to get the big field done first anyway. Because uh, then we actually feel, psychologically, we feel like we've actually achieved more. Even though we've achieved the exact same amount as if we'd done the small field first. Here we are, back at the field. I thought I'd jump cut the picking up of the trailer. 
as it wasn't very exciting. Um, I don't know how full the common half is, so that is another mod I would like to put on the next Let's Play, the Glance mod. It's going to be useful, because then you can see the status of each vehicle which is running on the map. So we'll be able to see exactly how full that is. Obviously I can see um, visually anyway. It looks like it's about 85%, thereabouts, 90% maybe. So we will unload. Um, but it does have a decent sized tank. Getting a few people also mentioning um, my Dagoman Vlogs series, the real, the real life series. And I'm actually resuming that very soon. Although it's about to become very cold in the UK, so I don't know how much I'm going to be able to do. It's not that I don't want to be out in it, it's that it's not really suitable weather for doing some of the jobs I'm doing. Um, for example, the trees, they're actually done. I've done the trees, I've planted the trees. That video needs to be published, so hopefully very soon I'll be able to get it out to you. There is a mowing video I need to do, um, which I haven't yet done. I haven't cut the grass yet. So, um, yes, what I'll do is I'll try and get that done after the cold spell. I think it's going to last about a week. Uh, I think we've got, well, <laughs> whenever I say temperatures, people in uh, the much colder areas of the world say, what? That's t shirt weather. But yeah, I think we're expecting. Like minus two daytime temperatures uh, midweek this week in the UK, um, in England I should say, because Scotland might be cold. I'm not too sure, and um, yeah, like minus six, seven at night in England. So yeah, it's just not ideal for mowing grass, really. Hopefully you understand. Uh, yeah, because mowing grass, you sort of you sort of do associate with the summertime. But I must get this done. It really does need to be done because it is super long. So. Yes, I'll try and get that done very soon. In fact, tomorrow, or maybe even today, I'll try and get a video out on Dagwin Vlogs of um, my current machinery setup, my compact machinery setup, which I'm going to be using. Um, but yes, it is uh, it's actually very nice machinery. And the thing I've noticed as well is whenever I do a video on Dagwin Vlogs, there's always somebody who sort of underestimates the capabilities of a compact tractor. So I agree, they're, they're obviously small. A big tractor can do much more. But on the plus side, a compact tractor can get into tighter areas at a much faster speed. Uh, obviously they consume less fuel. And, um, well, I think, personally, in a way, they're more fun. But obviously that's open to debate. Now when we do sell the machinery here, um, we're not going to get an awful lot, we're going to get something. But the thing is, this tractor, for example, is leased. And leasing is something we're going to go away from. We, we don't want to be doing it. The reason why we're doing it in this episode is because we've already done it for the rest of the series. Um, but I'm not going to say no leasing, because leasing is a very, really, well, it's a very useful thing to have. Um, but only short term. Long term, it's really expensive. So if we have to lease in a future episode, we will do, or a future series. But the main tractors hopefully will own outright because it is just so much cheaper long term. I'm not sure if we have any wheat in storage but if we do we'll put that in the trailer as well because this is going to fill it to about 80% or so, maybe 70 something percent. Uh, in fact yeah it's not even as full as last time. So yeah we'll top it up if there is something available and then we'll take it over to the best sell point which is most likely going to be the bakery, it usually is. The bakery always tends to be the best. If there is nothing in storage, we'll wait until this is fully loaded, as it is quite a long way to go. I mean, you can see the bridge over there, on the horizon. That's where the bakery is. It's a long way. So that is 70%, just about 69%. Yeah, there we go, 70%. So how much do we have in storage? I've gone the wrong way. Wheat, ah, oh, we do, we've got 6,500 litres. So it's not going to put it to the top, I wouldn't have thought, although actually it might do. Yeah, it might do. We'll take it. This is when you do need a faster tractor for the road work. In fact, having a lorry could be uh, better for the bigger maps. If I do an American map after this, um, I'll do a vote so you can choose. Because uh, the last thing I want to do is choose one which I think is good but then everybody else maybe doesn't like and then the series has to be ended early. Having said that, I don't tend to do the American maps for as long. 
So it would be probably a 30 episode series, thereabouts, 25 to 30. And it should automatically detect the wheat, so it should just top up. And there we go. We're full. Well, we're 91% full. The best price is currently at the transport company. So actually, it isn't in the bakery. And the transport company is, well, it's various places. It's not too far from here, I think. Let me get this right. Yes, it's various places. It is the grain elevators. Because then you take it on a train to the transport company. Let's hope it stays a good price. Because um, we're not going to be obviously selling everything now. We're going to be just putting it in the grain elevators to begin with, and we'll pick it up with a train later. Okay, so we have to cut through here. As I've probably demonstrated before, you've probably already played it as well. Um, I think a lot of people do actually have Platinum Edition, as far as I'm aware. It's very hard to actually get a good understanding of how many people do have it. Um, but I think I think it sold pretty well. I have no idea of the sales figures. But from what people have said in my comments in the videos, uh, it would appear that a lot of people have played on the map. Okay. Is it possible to cut back across the... F it probably is, actually. Yeah, we probably could just cut across the field somehow. You can. Yes, we can. I would say the best way to go is down here. Which actually means we're not going on the road at all. But we did still have to go over there to pick up the extra green. Now that combine, I would say, is going to be very close to full. It doesn't have its auger out. And it is still moving. But it can't be far off. Okay, it's over 80% full, and I don't want it to turn around because otherwise it's going to be on the wrong side, the auger. So if we can stop it in its tracks here, that will really speed things up and make life easier. Okay, stop there. That seems to have done it. I've just increased the uh, speed of time because uh, obviously it's almost got to the bit which isn't ready. Wow, that was full. Very full. We should wait at the top and then we can unload coming back down again. It's sort of thrown it out of synchronization though because I used to unload at the top and now I've unloaded at the bottom so it's going to really mess it up. I think we'll unload anyway, even though it won't be very full. Just to get it back into synchronization. Right, um, yeah, come on, field. The growth rate is set to fast with withering off, so it really should grow. Right, done. It is the next day. Uh, when we finish field 1 and 2, we're going to do field number 24, which is very small. It won't take very long at all. But I'm just trying to think where the best place to take it to will be. Actually, the price has probably changed by now. It has. Joy. The harbour is better. Should have thought of that. Well, uh, I suppose, actually, what we can do is just keep skipping time until the price is good again, once the harvest is finished. We're going to have to, really. But yeah, everything will go to the transport company, I'd have thought. Unless for number 24's grain goes to the harbour or wherever is the best price at the time. Can you go to the bakery? Yes, you can do. The bakery, for some reason, for the first time ever, is the worst price. It's a rare occasion. While we're waiting for it to fill up, I can start to sell some of the equipment we have. We're going to sell most of it just from the uh, garage page, but if we can take some stuff down there first, we will get the extra 20% or so. So I think we'll take the utility tractor, which I'd like to have back in a future episode. I like it a lot. It's a nice tractor. Um, and it is the 4700 series, which I believe is far better than the 4600 series, which seems to have issues. 
I've watched the video of Matthew Ferguson's uh, 4700 series. I think it's published in about December. And, well, they say it's a totally new tractor over the 4600 series. I'm hoping to get quite a bit of money for these, because although it's only a utility tractor, it will still be surprisingly expensive. Tractors just are. Right, sell that. And the windrower. Look at that, you see. 27,566 and 24,470. Nice money. Right, uh, the case can be sold as well later. This is 45% full. I will unload it, I think. Although, should I? Yeah, I will do. Otherwise, we won't make it back up. We'll deal with the case in a minute. Although, we'll probably have to sell this trail load before we can do anything else. Um, as we won't get a third load in. Fourth load. Yeah, fourth load, I think, because the, the second load wasn't very full. Here he goes. Come on, please fill it to 100%. I would have thought it would be short of 100%. But it should still be fairly good. Because, um, yeah, like I say, it's got big tank capacity. It was fairly full. 80-something percent would be good. Ninety. Ninety-seven percent. Wow. Well, off we go. I think it's still going to be the harbour. It is. Well, I did say we should take everything to the transport company anyway, but if there is such a good price at the harbour, it would be a shame to miss out on the deal. Um, the harbour is quite a long way from here, but we'll just have a nice drive. Uh, we can check up on the crops over in Field 24, and yeah, it should be... Uh, an experience of driving across the Stancy Lapacho. The sugarcane is ready to harvest once again. There's fair number 24, looking very healthy. Yeah, it shouldn't take long to harvest at all. And we have expanded it too, so it's a much bigger field than it ever used to be. All dirt track around here. Um, but yeah, we turn right up here to go over to the harbour. Oh, auto save. Yeah, I always put auto save on a let's play. It's always worth it. You never know what could happen. Power cuts or maybe you mess up. You have to quickly reload it. I have to say, I've done that probably about three times and to reload because I messed up something so badly. Um, but yeah, with it being there, if you hadn't saved it, if you'd forgotten to save and there wasn't an auto save in the background and you've been playing for, let's say, an hour and a half, then if it was a seriously bad thing you'd done wrong and you had to go back, you had to revert back, you'd be losing a, an hour and a half at least of, of footage. Well, an hour and a half roughly of footage. So it's not really worth... I'm lost. It's not really worth not having it on. It's always worth having... I haven't been here very often, have I? over here. Yeah, there it is. Should be worth quite a bit of money, all this, I would hope. Worker M has almost finished the field. So it hasn't taken too long. It is nice to have the bigger combine harvester. Let's see that money go up. It's only wheat, but it's still worth a bit. 24,366. Oh no, the worker is almost full already. The combine is 80% full. I think I went the long way around. In future we'll have to go this way. I'm hoping to do the combine harvesting myself in the other field, with it being so small. So a part of the trailer up at the side, and do the rest ourselves. And uh, yeah, it should really cut down on the worker's fees. Right. Where's he got to? Ah. It's bulging and it's on the wrong side. I'll have to do my trick where I reverse up to it. We could just get into the combine and manoeuvre it, but then it takes uh, a while to get the worker back on course. You'll always miss that sliver. 
easier to do this way. Well, one thing's for sure, the combine should be fine for the rest of this field without having to be unloaded. So we'll just deviate and we'll uh, sell some of the equipment. You can see what a mess the yard is over there. Could have done a better job. Um, yeah, should have been neater. Next time I can be. So, uh, yes, this stuff can just be sold straight away. Must remember not to sell anything we're using, otherwise that would go badly wrong. Okay, log fork. Oh yeah, we did have a header trailer. That can go. That we're keeping. It's going to accumulate to quite a bit of money, but as soon as we start to buy stuff again on the next Let's Play, that's when you realise we didn't actually have that much money, even though this is going to look like a lot. It'd be totally different equipment we use as well. Uh, there's the Stara. Homemade bell trailer. I like that trailer. It's nice. And that is everything which is bought out, right? The rest of the stuff is leased. So, yeah, not bad. We do have cows as well, actually. We could sell the cows. If I go over to the animal dealer just over here. Sell. How many do we have? We have 16. That is £21,600. So we're on 407, 230. It's not bad going, really. Especially as at one point we were in debt. As for the case tractor, that can go to the sell point because obviously we're missing out on 20% of its value if we don't drive it there. So it's always going to be worth it. Always worth driving it if it's a big, expensive machine. Although it has done 30.4 hours, which for farming to is quite high. Twenty-eight seven eight six. Right, back to the combine harvester. It's getting on all right. Um, yeah, so we'll just finish off it. I could actually load the train up. That is something we could do. It's easy to reverse because it's so much closer. The grain elevator we put it into, but really we shouldn't do. We should drive. At least we get to pick up speed fairly quickly. I don't know about you, but I almost feel like going a bit faster with the train. 51 miles per hour seems a little bit too slow. But, I don't know. I don't know if it has the capability to fly off the lines if it goes too fast. I should think somebody has adjusted the speed of a train before in FS to make you go like three or 400 miles per hour. Which would be quite interesting to see. I would guess it does stick to the rail, you know, without falling off. Um... I can't imagine it derailing somehow. That's where we sold the wood. Yeah, whatever the FS19 graphics is going to look like, um, yeah, this it would just transform this map considerably. The graphics are actually really good anyway in FS17. I did read that a few people were a little bit confused about why the graphics were the most concentrated feature. Uh, well, that's what it appears, it's not necessarily. Um, because, yeah, FS17 does have incredible graphics. But, I suppose, I haven't seen it myself, obviously, but if, you've, if you can see what the FS19 graphics look like, it might be harder then to say why you're focusing on the graphics. Because it probably, and most likely, has absolutely change this game. I can sort of imagine it being more like Far Cry's graphics, but I don't know. I can't say. You know the exact same amount as I do about the upcoming game, FS19. There's the siding, which we can't get into. Never tried to change the points, but I don't think you can do. And the next grain elevator should be ours. Just up here. Just around the corner. There it is. Better start slowing down. Last thing I want to do is overshoot. Now we can actually put it into any of these uh, cargo trucks if we wanted to, I think. But we're going to put it into the third one along. The middle one. Oh, I'm not stopping quick enough, am I? Oh, I'm going to overshoot. Oh, crikey. Where am I? Oh, it's going into the, the one for logs. 
time to embarrassingly reverse in shame. Oh, don't overshoot again. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Never been a good train driver. I suppose it doesn't help uh, driving a train with a steering wheel. Right, in it goes. Let's go over to the combine harvester. It's almost finished. We'll position the tractor. Well, actually, it's not going to fit in. It's not going to fit in the trailer. Best price, harbour. Yeah, still the harbour. I'll try and get the transport company to be good before the end. I'll just very quickly tip this. That can be loaded onto the train. Yeah, I was trying to brake like a tractor. Obviously, a tractor doesn't need as much distance as a train. Combine's just finishing. Continues to fill that up. And back to the combine. It's about to finish. There it is. Alright, let's transfer it to... 24. We'll have to get the header trailer once again and then we'll take it all over there. The header's on the back. Oh, we have grain in the tank. We're going to have to empty the grain before we can fold the combine harvester up. So I'll put the auger out ready. 47% full. I must mind the trees. Probably not an advisable thing to do, travel with the combine with the auger out. And then as soon as that's finished we can fold this up. The thing which has always been a concern is how wide this drive is. Well, it's actually quite wide, but it's just like it's been carved, it's carved through the roots of trees and stuff to gain access to the property. I'm assuming it's always been like this, it's just eroding. The edge is eroding, so it's showing the roots. Just hope the traction trailer is still behind us. Come on, tractor overtake. As soon as it's passed, we can pull back in. That should do it. Hopefully, unless the trailer goes and hits the vehicle. Oh, it's a bit close, actually. Oh, it's super close. It stopped. It's very busy around here, a lot of traffic. It's all going in the same direction, too. One thing I've never worked out is if this is the official way to this field or if there is actually a track. There probably is a track. It seems a little bit unusual to go along the uh, train line. But yeah, here we are. Let's, uh, let's unfold things and we'll be able to get the header on and get things done very quickly. With a bit of luck. Must remember to stop the follow me, otherwise it's going to plough through the header trailer. Beacon switched off. Right. So yeah, as you can see, it isn't a very big field. We will put it on a worker when we're emptying the trailer, if we have to empty the trailer. Otherwise, there'll be no need to have a worker at all. And as it has so much space around uh, the outside of the field, we don't even have to do the headlands first.
Okay, so the best price for the barley is actually at the harbour, which is fantastic because it's just up the road from here and it's actually on the way back to the train. So that is that field done, as you can see. Uh, as we go this way, I'm not entirely sure of the way over the train line, but I suppose we can just cross anywhere. We'd actually have to follow a designated route. It doesn't seem to be like the UK because like, the, the railways aren't fenced off. It's just all open. Oh, I think we can cross here. And then, yeah, the harbour is just over there. Get it sold. It just about fit in the trailer. 3% left, space left, 30,321 litres. Sounds pretty good to me. This can all go towards the funding for the next farm. Now once it's sold, we'll return the tractor and we'll sell the trailer just to add the trailer's money back to our bank account. Uh, it's not looking that good, the price. 16310, well, it's still worth it. And yeah, that can, where is it? We'll go back onto here. Still worth 2529 something, 93. Uh, and yeah, finish off with the train. Mustn't forget to sell the wheat. So it goes to the top of the hill, and that is where we'll conclude this series. But I think it's nice to be able to finish the series. It would have been a shame to just sort of abandon it. I, I never like to abandon a series. Um, so yeah, actually concluding it. Although on a strange episode number, it's still a conclusion. And it isn't the end. All the hard work we've done is for the machinery and livestock on the next map. And I think, yeah, we'll focus more on livestock as well next time. This map, obviously, I had a few cows, but we didn't really do anything with them. Only just appreciating the detail in here. But again, it is well done. Okay, I better start breaking early because you know what I'm like. And then, yeah, we've got 56,218 litres to sell. Try and align that truck there with the uh, sell point. There we go. Right, so this is going to be our final figure. This is the money that's going to go to the next map. And it's going to be 483976. 30,000 for that. So yeah, we're going to finish it here. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the series. Hopefully you've enjoyed the map. And next time you see me on this map will likely be in FS19. So until the next... I was going to say the next episode. No, that would be FS19. Until the next video, um, I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.